This is Minecraft. Welcome to my tutorial series. This episode we will be searching around and giving information on biomes and any other such as we'll come across. To, co uh, to amend something I said on the first video, these are, I call them puppies, these are wolves. They are wild wolves. They, they hunt as packs if attacked. They attack on, they attack ki sheep on Kimmel and kill without reason or thought. They're the only one thing that does that. But generally they are friendly and if, if you uh, hold a bone in your right hand and right click them, they will, uh, they will at some point become your friend and will actually follow you around and defend you, which is a very good resource. Now this here, this biome here, is a forest. It, uh, now this would be considered a hill, a hilly forest. They come in several different versions um, that I've seen. Hilly forest being one of the most common. You will find regular oak wood and birch wood. Difference being, this is normal brown. This is a light colored tan. These for a particular forests are actually good because they give a variety of look and feel. Plus, they're very abundant in this. This is gr tall grass. When punched or destroyed, will drop seeds. To amend that particular piece of information, you s use the seeds and you make a, a you make a a gardening tool, which you use to till the ground. Till ground needs to be near, uh, which will be uh, which is obviously will be near water to irrigate it, so that it uses uh, uses the water to grow the food. And over time, it will grow. Now, this over here is our next biome. Oh, these, by the way, are dandelions used for coloring wool. Th that there is a wonderful uh, extreme mountains biome. They are very majestic. I mean, top a top score for notch for creating such a wonderful, a wonderful looking biome. They're very majestic. They're huge. They they can be anywhere from small to massive, and they and, and they and you can see the, the the water flow there, which is very beautiful. These here in your wildlife in the forests sometimes are mushrooms. Red being the more of uh, the rare kind above surface, and there's a brown version, which if you combine the two with a wood bowl, which can be crafted, you can make yourself some mushroom soup which is a good food source on the fly. These wonderful things uh, found in plains or, or hills are sheep. Now sheep are interesting because I like to, I, I call in Minecraft there are challenges, things that are very rare to find that will are hard to find and if you find them are like an un, unspoken achievement. Now these sheep eat the, gra eat the grass right off the top of the plains to re Punish their fur. So if you if you can get make shears using iron, you uh, you can actually shear the sheep instead of having to kill them for their wool, and they will grow back once they eat those things, the wool of the grass. Now, when it comes to sheep, they come in several colors. More uh, colors will spa spawn naturally, and the, the, some are more rare. White is the most common at a, at, a, at, a, at the highest rating. Next one down. Is the is the greys? Greys are hard are, are, are next rare in breed and, and spawning. You have dark gray and a light gray sheep, and also you will have a black breed. Black breeds are even further down the line, and even fur the, the the further down the line is a brown sheep. Brown sheep are very hard to find, but the rarest of all, I have the uh, are the, the pink. Sheep. Yes, in Minecraft you will find natural pink colored sheep. I don't know why pink. It has not yet been found out why pink. But if you find one, post a uh, find one, take a picture shot of it, and post it. Send it uh, in a comment to me. They are at a, mil at a spawn rate of a million to one chance. Very very rare. Since I've been playing beta, uh, I've been playing Minecraft since beta version 1.3, and have found successfully three of these things in all the hours of Minecraft that I've gone through. The latest version of, of latest of which has actually been in this na recent snapshot, version 1.51. This area I'm dropping on is sand. 
They, uh, they border the landscape, and you can use these to smelt into glass panes. Hmm, you might be thinking to yourself, Why are you climbing this mountain? Well, for one very particular reason I climb. The advantage of these biomes. They have some. They have one thing that you will find very often in Minecraft. Ah, uh, perfect music. Now, if you can manage to find your way and scale the way all the way to the top of the hill, not only do you have a wonderful vantage point above, uh, above the uh, near the clouds or even above them, but you get this. How much more perfect? than a scene like this. Gorgeous. Which will, uh, which leads us into the next biome. Now, getting down can be precarious, but don't worry. We'll always find a way down. We can always jump. You only start receiving damage in Minecraft if you fall the minimum of four blocks straight down. And the farther uh, the distance you fall, the more damage you will incur. Four block, uh, falling four blocks will give you a half a heart of damage, but that's alright. This here is sugarcane. Its two purposes is to create, you can craft into sugar in your crafting area, or if you combine them, you can create paper, which is used for books, and which leads further into enchantment. You have the, among flowers over there you see, is the red flower. Those roses are harder to find. They are rare when it comes to spawning them. You will find them in various places around. Now, you have very aesthetically beautiful things. Here in this jungle biome, you'll find these shrubs. They're for aesthetic purposes only, and can be, as, as you can be used to gather, usually with, with a silk touch enchanted pickaxe or tool. You will, in this biome, you find plenty of low-lying branches in the way. Plus, you will notice that the trees tend to change. This particular shade of tree, with all these green vines on it, is a jungle tree. These are large jungle trees. And you will see over here smaller ones. Also, if you look carefully, you have look at the, the different shade of, of leaves you have here. As opposed to a natural oak tree leaves on the floor these denser kinds. Now these can are these different shades are created for aesthetic purposes and for decoration. They also uh, you can you, you can shear those with shears. Shears are used crafting iron bar uh, uh, one of these iron ingots there and there. And you will create a shears which are used to shave sheep or to shave off these whole blocks of leaves or if you want to collect vines you can collect vines with shears. Now, once these things grow, these trees grow, which they grow pretty tall. They also, the, the in your proximity to the biome, will the also activate the growth of these vines. They grow and expand over the tree to the point where you can actually climb them. This here is is a wonderful one resource. You, they grow inside only jungle biomes. You can break them in several layers, the, the one I broke being the, the first level of growth. That's a second level of growth, that's a third level of growth. Coca beans. Their purpose is to combine them with wheat, which you grow from seeds. And they will become, you can, you can craft cookies. Yes, Minecraft has a beautiful cookie. And they're replanted. This will, will this, has a, this is a one chance of dropping one. This this particular growth rate drops two, and this will, will drop three. They had to grow at a, at a very good rating, and um, for those who want to actually create cookies. Now, in traveling about, you will find, as you notice in the mini map over there, I have in the top right, which is, by the way, the Ray's mini map mod. You will find lots of ocean around you. And don't worry about the ocean, there it, it, it's everywhere, so finding a water resource is never a problem. Now, it being nighttime, you will get your first chance at seeing the wonderful world. 
of monsters, which will be seen in next episode. This is Minecraft. Comment, leave a posting, say something to me, I'll re I'm, I read all my comments. Post suggestions, hit that like button, show me you like what you've seen. Also, hit that subscribe button and join the pack. Thanks for watching.